I'm Dan Clark. I'm an associate professor of history here at Oakland University, and I do teach a class called Cold War America that covers uh, the, the, the Cold War era, obviously. Uh, I also teach labor history, oral history, and a variety of other, other courses here at, at Oakland. But the Cold War context is really important for understanding these tunnels at Oakland University. During the, um, the early Cold War years, there was a policy of um, trying to disperse industry around uh, um, different parts of the, of, of the country, including to suburban Detroit, because the idea was that if industry was all concentrated in, in Detroit as it had been during World War II, that it would be an easy target for Soviet missiles, especially after 1949. So um, Oakland County and, and Rochester, way out in Rochester, you know, um, could be conceived of as a target for nuclear missiles, and so it was important to have some kind of defense, civil defense, uh, against uh, these missiles. No one knew for sure how long anyone at Oakland would have to stay in those tunnels in order to survive a nuclear blast. Would they have to stay in a few hours, a few days, a few weeks? So certainly uh, there were stockpiles of, of food, crackers, spam, all things that people liked to eat uh, in, in the Cold War period. But a lot of departments on campus also saw, saw great opportunities for education in, in these tunnels. Uh, the history department, for instance, uh, thought it would be a great chance to have a retreat and develop its curriculum. Um, the uh, chemistry department, the biology department, saw you know, excellent opportunities for uh, studying the impact of um, nuclear explosions and, and measuring radiation. Um, um, the philosophy department you know, had much to think about to mull over the, uh, the, the ethical implications of uh, nuclear war and survival underground. Um, certainly Oakland hoped to hold their classes. They didn't want normal life to be disturbed too much even though they were living underground. Part of my role on the committee will be to in ensure that the tunnels are safe. It's, it's really the equivalent of ensuring that mines are safe after uh, mines have been operative for a while. We'll use the same meticulous standards to, to ensure that, uh, that the Oakland tunnels are safe for classes, safe for students to play in, uh, safe for indoor track meets, whatever might go on down in the tunnels.